Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. We're here with Robert Passage, and I'm excited to talk to you to hear about all things Pivot Point, right? So we're uh, so I want to start off with your title, what you what you're doing with the company, and all that. So let's just right. start there. All right. As you said, Robert Passage, I'm sort of the self-described global ambassador for Pivot Point, but my real title is the chairman and CEO. The company was founded in 1962 by my father, Leo Passage, quite well known in the industry. Yes. And um, I took over that role about five years ago, actually. My father passed away uh, four years ago. Okay. Uh, sadly lost my sister a year later. So I'm the only active uh, person uh, from the second generation in wow, the business. So you took on yeah, so I took on a lot of responsibility, but I have right. two kids that are in the business already. Okay. And uh, third, uh, who's doing something else, but in publishing, which uh, aligns very well with our business. And I have two, uh, a niece and a nephew, uh, who will probably be interested in the business as well. So. Okay. Oh, that's, yep. that's third great. Third generation coming on board. Yeah, right. That's yeah. awesome. So we have, uh, I know I've been working closely with Pivot Point uh, with our online store and all of that. You have some really great new products coming out. You have great products that have been out. I love the tripods, the mannequin stands, all that stuff. Um, so I want to talk about uh, the quality that you guys put into uh, the research, the different things. I think you can really tell when a company truly cares about hairdressing and when it's just putting out a product to try to make some money. Sure. And I definitely know that Pivot Point puts that thought process in. So why don't you go through uh, the thought process on uh, when you guys are coming up with new products, I'd love to hear about that and just what what's the research and development like? What is all of that about? Well, Matt, we really consider ourselves uh, very innovative when it comes to uh, education for our industry. Um, our core business, obviously, is education. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about hair. Uh, obviously, we're in the hairdressing business, so hair is an important component. It's a small part of our business, but a very important part. Um, as far as innovation is concerned, SnapCap is something we launched about five years ago. This is the second version of SnapCap. I'm okay. going to show you a little bit about how it works. Most of the major manufacturers in our industry use Pivot Point Hair because it showcases their products very well. Right. I think what's unique about Pivot Point's products, number one, they're 100% human hair. Um, there are no animal hair byproducts or anything like that. Um, in addition to that... Um, and why do companies put animal hair and all that stuff. Obviously lower the it's cost. cheaper. Lower uh, the cost. Okay. But yeah. there's uh, there's no benefit to it. There's no benefit to okay. it. Uh, we want our mannequins to act like they would on a real live client day to day. Right. So even the implantation is very important. You know, uh, hair grows a certain way. Our hair is implanted exactly like it would grow on a human head form. Right. And uh, comes in a variety of lengths variety of colors, a variety of densities, depending on what it is that you're trying to use it for. So. And that's what I love, because I've talked to Ginger, uh, who works for your company. Right. Uh, and I've talked to her a lot, and, and I love the passion behind every hair that goes into the head. You know, like Ginger gets so excited about their eyelashes, their eyebrows, all that stuff, and I love it. And she said that, you know, the, the people that place the hair are artists. They're yeah. artisans, ab absolutely yeah. artisans. They've been trained for many years. One of the things that we're really proud of at our company is uh, we were recently certified SA8000 compliant, which is a social accountability standard, which we sought out ourselves. All of our uh, manufacturing facilities overseas have been approved SA8000, which basically means we do not use any sort of forced labor of any kind. We believe we're the only one in the industry that does this today. Yeah. Most manufacturers use contracted labor. Most of that contracted labor is done in China using prison labor, essentially. Yeah. And that's why a lot of these companies are able to offer their mannequins at such a low price because they don't pay wages to the people who actually do the work. Right. You know? so, but we do. So I sleep well at night knowing that. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure that you would, you would say to any company out there that they could definitely go and get Absolutely. that same certification. I would encourage every manufacturer to do that. Right. We'd all be on a level playing field that way. You know? right. Our products are always more expensive. But I think most manufacturers that use our hair want to showcase their products yeah. as if they would appear on a real life human being. So. Yep. And I love, so a couple other things I really like. I have I have a few different types of the Pivot Point mannequins that I use. One of them has a smaller head. Right. And, and I've had actual people in the last couple weeks come up to me and, and say that they've used a smaller head in a class, and why is that? So 
Can you go into that a little bit? Sure. You know, most classes are cutting workshops. Um, with a cutting workshop, you don't necessarily need a head form that imitates a life-size uh, human head. So we can reduce cost by making the head form smaller. Yeah. So it's really price uh, that drives the size of the head form. Um, when we use head forms that are very lifelike, uh, they're more used for design work yeah. um, where you want to emulate a an actual human live head form. So. Well, and I also think that what people should understand is when you have a smaller head, it makes class flow from an sure. educator standpoint. It makes the class flow better and go Absolutely. quicker so you can get through more haircuts as well. Dens density has a lot to do with that as well, Matt. Uh, you know, uh, in order to keep the prices competitive, uh, some of our smaller head forms use a slightly less density. And uh, again, to your point, um, much easier to use in the classroom, much easier to comb through and things like that. Okay. Keeps the cost down and uh, works really well. So. Great. Yeah. So you guys, um, when we speak about education, uh, you have how many schools now? Well, Pivot Point uh, licenses its educational products in about 2,000 schools in 80 countries around the world. We train somewhere in the vicinity of 100,000 hairdressers a year that use our education uh, around That's the great. world. So yeah, That's it's great. pretty, pretty, so, pretty uh, impressive. So you guys create the products, you provide the education. I love it. I love all the DVDs that, that you guys do. I actually got a chance uh, when I was in Chicago last year, I, I went up to uh, your corporate office and I got to see where you do the video shoots and all that. It was really cool. Uh, everything's in-house. Uh, so it was really neat to, to experience that. Now, I want to talk about this new product because we, we brought it on our podcast and I actually purposely did not attempt it before I did it live in front of everyone okay. because some people were saying that it's difficult and I, and I was told it wasn't and it's not. It's really not difficult at all. Not at all. The, thing, the key that you have, so why don't you show how this works? Sure. Uh, so we'll like I said, Matt, uh, this is the second version. We launched the original SnapCap about five years ago. We had some difficulties with the application of the cap itself. So of course, we were looking for ways to improve it. Right. So this second version, the SnapCap 2, actually requires, uh, and you can use a key. I don't have it tight right now. But all you have to do is loosen the screw on the bottom of the head form. As you loosen that screw, you'll see that the, the cap itself just pops off. 100% recyclable ABS plastic, so uh, you only need one head form right. and multiple caps. And as I said before, the caps can a variety of length arrangements, color, density, whatever you need. You just buy the cap and only I one I love it. Form. I mean, you could form a relationship with that head because it's going to be with you for a long time. Absolutely. Now, That's I, how easy it is to pop it on, tighten it, take your key, tighten it down real tight, and it's ready to go. And everyone used to say as well, if you lost the key, then you wouldn't be able to do the, the cap, but that's Still not true. By hand. Yeah. You can do it by hand, or even if it was stuck, you could put any kind of tool, right? In there Absolutely. For the most part? Absolutely. Yeah. Air pliers if you need it. Right, so. <laughs> exactly. And then, so Thad wants me to ask why they have this, the bald cap on the top. And I'm going to assume it's so it looks like a head. Well, it looks like a head <laughs> a variety of reasons. It prevents this from breaking. A lot of schools use this actually uh, to draw on uh, oh, okay. with a dry erase a good marker. Idea. So you can draw sections, parting patterns, those types of things right, right on like the that. cap. Yeah. We're going to keep that one, Thad. We're going to do that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so here it is with hair. Like I said before, she's slightly used and abused this weekend because we've been showing her a lot. But in any <laughs> case, uh, same, same process. You just line her up on the head form like this. There you go. Tighten the screw on the bottom. This is where you would want to use the key, actually. Yeah, you would take the it. key. And you lock her down. Yeah, and you wouldn't even know that it's a... Uh, and you wouldn't know this wasn't a regular mannequin. Yeah, you know, so. and the thing I love about pivot point mannequins is that the hair is, is put in to go forward in the front. And a lot of mannequins, if you, if you don't spend a little bit of extra money on a mannequin, it always grows straight back. Right. And when you try to teach in a class or you're trying to practice, no, for the most part, no client's heads are going to grow straight back. So it's really hard to practice any fringe work or anything like that. And this is always growing Absolutely. forward. So I really like it. And I think a lot of manufacturers do that because they can actually machine and plant the hair. So again, it reduces price. Okay. And by machine and planting, you don't get the same effect that you would 
if a person hand implanted that uh, right. by themselves. It would just all know, be so. the same. Yeah. So if you want to try it yourself and show the audience how easy it is to apply. Yes, you blindfolded. Just <laughs> I'm going to do this. <laughs> so we'll just loosen her up. Yeah, I love this. And I love the fact that all you have to do is when you, as a hair cutter, after I do a haircut, all I have to do is purchase another one of these instead of the whole thing. Cool. Better for the environment and for me. I have so. a client in uh, Tokyo, for example, one of the largest beauty schools in the world, 3,000 uh, students. They are required. They don't have, like, unlike the United States, where you have um, a student salon. Right. They don't have a student salon. Every student gets 20 mannequins during the course of their two-year studies times 3,000, that's 60,000 heads that end up in a landfill every year. That's, Can you imagine how yeah, much waste crazy. that is? You know, yeah. So, yeah. That's well, just one school. <laughs> right. Yeah. So this is awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Is there anything else? What else is going on in it? Well, our big thing right now, uh, we just launched a new product called Lab. Uh, yeah. stands for Learn About Beauty. Okay. Uh, it's an online integrated uh, learning solution. Yes. Basically a learning management system uh, that's very social. Um, when you log on, it's exactly like logging on to any type of social media site, Facebook, et cetera. Okay. People learn socially today, uh, and that's our latest program. It includes all of our great education, first in class education, but what's nice about it is that schools can populate that LMS with education that they use themselves as well and incorporate that with ours. Okay, so. and how do they, uh, so can any hairdresser log on to this? Or Well, it's gonna be available eventually for all hairdressers, so it'll be a sort of a social community for not only uh, future professionals, but as well as uh, professional hairdressers themselves. Okay. So it's just launching now. Okay. Um, I'd love to share it with you sometime. Maybe yeah. we can get you to come back up to Chicago. We have uh, we just moved into new corporate uh, headquarters. Another one. Uh, we have a new studio. Okay. Yeah, All right. And, I definitely. Uh, we'd love to show you around and uh, show you our new education. It's fantastic. Well, that would be great. So, last question. Yep. Um, as CEO, right? That's your title officially. Yep. Yep. So, what's day to day life like? Walk me through your day because some, you know I want to I want to know what a CEO of Pivot Point <laughs> does. Well, like I sa said before, I like to use the term global ambassador because uh, okay. Pivot Point is now in about 80 countries around the world. Okay. Um, I spend most of my time on the road traveling. Not only domestically, we have uh, quite a few schools here in the United States, but distribution around the world. So I spend a lot of my time uh, with them. I have a great team of people. My father told me from an early age, he said, Robert, surround yourself with good people because you can't do it all yourself. Right. And I have a wonderful team, as you've, as you've witnessed yourself yeah. uh, when you came to Chicago. Uh, they all do a wonderful job, and it makes my job that much easier, you know, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure that you guys check out everything Pivot Point, uh, and we have it all also on Shop FSE. But just, you know, if you're looking to go to beauty school, check out Pivot Point. If you've been to beauty school, check out Pivot Point. They have it all. And the snap cap is awesome. So definitely pick that up. Um, anything else? They can follow Pivot Point. Follow I know you're Pivot not the, the yep, marketing. Absolutely. You know, so <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person to ask, but yeah. uh, pivot-point.com. Uh, you you go. can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, yeah. you name it. So <laughs> you go, go to the website, click on it, you'll find it. All right, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you to Millennium Systems International for letting us hang out at their booth at the Orlando Premier or premiere Orlando show, whatever it is, uh, here in Orlando, Florida. Thank you again, Robert. And Matt, we appreciate will, it. Yes. Thank and, you very much. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Thank you.